For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says determine the components of the reaction at points A and B. So as you can see, you have this force P acting right at the middle of this uh, rod and you have a reaction at A, which can only be vertical, and you have a reaction at uh, A, this is A, the other one was a reaction at B, which can only be vertical, and this reaction can only be horizontal, can only be that way. And they want you to find them. So, the first thing is sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero, and the only force in the x is ax, so ax is equal to zero. That was pretty easy. Then you know that sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero, so you have p coming down and you got y going up, by going up, and that is equal to zero. So as you can see, by is equal to p. So those two are very simple to find. So then the other reaction that you have is a moment at A. So some of the moments at A are equal to zero. So let's assume, of course, kind of clockwise positive. So you got the moment at A, the reaction moment at A, minus the moment that this P is creating, which is equal to uh, minus because it's turning this rod clockwise and it's turning this distance of L over 2 so it's P times L over 2 and then you got the reaction of By which is plus By times L but we know that By is equal to P therefore and all of this is equal to 0 of course therefore the moment minus P times L over 2 plus P times L is equal to 0 which means that the moment at A is equal to minus PL over 2 plus PL. Therefore, the moment at A is equal to PL over 2 because minus 1 half plus 1 is 1 half. And since it's positive, it means it's counterclockwise because we assumed originally that counterclockwise was positive. And that is the reaction moment at A. The By is equal to P and AX is equal to zero. Final answers. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.